<laughs> peace, family, peace. Yo, family, I've decided this generation is the most bitch-made generation that I have ever had the displeasure of interacting with. That is it. Simple, cut and dry, to the bone. This generation are a bunch of crybaby little bitches, okay? I have never seen so many so-called men online bitch, moan, and complain, and not even just online, in real life, about things just because you have a different opinion to them. Just because you like somebody different to the person that they like. Just because you support something differently to the thing that they support. People nowadays, I'm telling you, they're soft. They are some of the softest little bitches. I'm telling you. I've never seen it. I'm telling you, I've never seen this shit in my whole entire life. I have been debating online um, due to my uh, podcast that I've done, the Common Sense TV podcast about religion and the black community. And I'm on Instagram and I'm telling you some of the comments that I'm reading from people and I'm going back and forth with people. And it's interesting just to see the emotion from these men. I don't know what kind of men have been built nowadays, but the men of this generation that are being built are bitch made. I don't give a fuck whether they like it or not. And especially Muslim men. Especially because those are the men that I'm normally interacting with. Um, because this uh, podcast had a Muslim uh, panelist on it. And, you know, he was emotional. I mean, my, when you watch the podcast, you can see, you know, that there was a little bit of tension there. I mean, prior to even going in the room to film, myself and he calls himself Cockney Black um, on um, Instagram. We had had a previous, you know, let's say meeting of, of opinions, let's say, right? And it kind of fed into the room. And you can kind of see it. You can see it. And even after, even after we went back and forth. But, um... And even he, the oh mate, the bitch in his voice, just the way that he went on as well. Like I, I, I want, I just literally want to do. I want to do a round two. I want to do a round two with him specifically, um, because I know I get under his skin. And if people let me know that I get under your skin because I have a different opinion from you, then I will go at you all day long and just pick at you. That's just that's just the way I am. I can identify your weaknesses and I will just pick at it. I will just pick at your weakness and. And it's all to do with religion. And this is what I've noticed about... This is, how you, this is how you know a bitch-made person, right? You're talking about a subject. And then they switch the conversation to you as an individual. You've already won. I'm telling you. Just, you've already won. Once somebody starts to go for you as an individual, you've already won. I can stick, stick on topic. I've been debating for years. I've been debating for years. Stick on topic. That's it. That, that is my advice to anyone debating. Stick on topic. People will try and take you here, there, everywhere. They'll try and throw in red herrings. Arguments that don't make sense. Bitch made shit. Absolutely bitch made. This, this generation is bitch made. I don't know when it happened. Okay? And the men of this generation, I don't know how they can even call themselves men anymore. Because the amount of emotions that they're displaying is borderline feminine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It's borderline feminine. I don't know where the masculinity went. People just getting angry in their emotions. You might as just give them a tampon and a sanitary towel and just saying, "Hey, you, there you go, mate. Just plug yourself up. Do you know what I mean? Just plug yourself up. Keep crying. Keep bleeding in your jeans. Do you know what I mean? I've had enough. I've literally had enough of this generation. They are bitch made. Okay. They do not know how to debate. They think emotions will win an argument over facts figures, stats, and objectivity. That's what they think. They think they can literally cry and win an argument. And the thing is, you know what's so funny? Because there are so many people out there that think emotions win arguments, they will seem like they've won because they will have a great following behind them. A fantastic following behind them, literally, based off emotion. Another bunch, a bunch of bitch-made men following a bitch-made man, right? Who's just literally spewing emotion. I don't care about emotions, seriously. My arguments, are not there to cater to anybody's emotions. I want people to understand this. My arguments are there to display facts, figures, and stats, and objectivity, logic, rationale, reason. That is my argument. I don't give a damn about your emotions because that's not what I'm here for. If I'm constantly catering to your emotion, then I'm going to be here for the rest of my life just not saying what I want to say because I'm thinking, oh, do you know what? It's going to make them feel not as warm and fuzzy inside as they wanted to feel. Fuck that! 
This generation needs to man the fuck up. I'm telling you, I am sick of it. I'm sick of it. There are men out here running around thinking that they're men and they're just emotionally charged, constantly on high emotion. As soon as you say something, what? You can't say that. Shut the fuck up, you bitch made man. Seriously, people. I'm going to take a minute. People, men of this generation, seriously, it's okay to have a conversation with somebody who doesn't support the same person you support, have a, um, a view that you actually support, uh, follow a religion that you actually support. It's okay to have a conversation with them. And you know what? After you disagree, you can just go your own separate ways. Not everything has to be an argument and you bleeding in your bloody jeans and you wanting to fight people, etc., etc. Learn to fucking debate and learn to keep your emotions in check. Okay? Peace, family. Peace.